how's it going? For today's video, I'm proud to present an exclusive in-depth look at Steve Celine's own custom 2005 Celine S281 Mustang Skyview. And this is going to be a detailed, in-depth review of the S281. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, as well as show you a bunch of the unique aspects of the interior, as well as exterior. And before I begin, I'd like to take a moment to extend a big thanks and special shout out to RK Motors Charlotte, located in Charlotte, North Carolina, for providing the Celine S281 Skyview featured in today's in-depth review. For more information about any of their other super cool inventory, check out rkmotorscharlotte.com. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up, let her run. The unique exterior color is known as Beryllium Copper Metallic, featuring a Celine specific black leather interior with perforations across the middle, as well as light gray Alcantara inserts. Beautiful deep tone from that custom center mounted dual exhaust. The S281 features speed proportional rack and pinion power steering and the standard Mustang's retro futuristic three spoke leather wrapped wheel with a unique Celine badge in the middle. Polished silver trim coming across the spokes as well as your cruise control off either side. As far as the gearbox, the standard and only option available was a close ratio beefed up five speed manual fed through an aluminum and leather gear selector. All the way over to the right, and down for reverse. Finished with a nice attention to detail. And so, we're going to flip on the headlamps, fog lamps, as well as the hazards. Both windows are fully automatic as standard. And we'll check out the exterior, shall we? Celine Automotive is a well-known purveyor of high-performance automotive parts and sports cars. While originally making a name in aftermarket components, Celine is an automotive original equipment manufacturer and is therefore subject to the same regulations of both design and testing as larger manufacturers such as Ford. Over the years, they've been mostly basing their cars and respective variants on existing platforms, such as Mustangs, but their reach has touched nearly everything over the years from the Ford F-150 to the Dodge Challenger, Chevrolet Camaro, and even the Tesla Model S. Their most famous creation being the Celine S7 Supercar, a mid-engine monster designed and built in-house. With the introduction of the all-new Mustang for 2005, Celine also introduced their latest S281 Mustang lineup with a variety of models that promised advancements in performance, handling stiffness, quality, and refinement. The core enhancements begin with the 5th generation Mustang's all-new chassis, featuring a high-strength steel body shell that's 31% stiffer in torsion, while the chassis is double the torsional rigidity of the previous chassis. Overall length grows by 4.4 inches, wheelbase grows by 5.8 inches, and width shrinks by about an inch. Track widens by more than 2 inches for a larger footprint, while overall changes proportion the weight even better, a more even weight distribution between 53% over the front axle while 47% of the weight rests out back. 
A lightened aluminum hood also takes some of the weight off the front axle. The Skyview concept was Steve Celine's personal show car and showcased an optional glass roof that retracted over the rear window, giving a convertible-like open-air experience without having to downgrade to a heavier, less rigid convertible model. While it never made it into production, Ford actually offered a fixed glass roof option to the standard Mustang in 2009. The roof concept was designed by American Specialty Cars, founded in 1965 as the American Sunroof Company or ASC. They are well known for building concept and open air vehicles for OEM development. In fact, they are actually directly responsible for projects like the cool Chevrolet SSR, the BMW Z4, and the Toyota Camry Solara convertible. Celine offered his Mustang in three variants, S281, S281SC, and S281E. The S281 refers to Celine Automotive in the engine's displacement, while SC stands for supercharged. E refers to Extreme, the highest output variant. The naturally aspirated S281 utilizes Ford's new all-aluminum 24-valve 4.6-liter V8. With three valve heads, two on the intake valves and one on the exhaust valve, it allows the engine to breathe easier at the intake side for smoother performance. The S281 produces 330 horsepower at 5200 RPM, 30 more than your standard GT. An aluminum dual-core radiator and high-flow cooling system is also available for the manual gearbox. All variants feature Celine's PowerFlash ECU upgrade that determines the precise fuel, air, and spark requirement for any condition, which also requires premium fuel. Underdrive accessory pulleys were also added and a high-flow air filter, otherwise the internals remain the same. The signature Celine Free Flow Exhaust features twin mufflers and 2.5-inch stainless steel pipes that actually have vacuum-actuated exhaust valves that open up at a pre-specified level of back pressure. When open, a portion of the exhaust is routed through a set of secondary exhaust tailpipes that point towards the ground. This greatly benefits overall low-end torque and responsiveness. The supercharged S281SC adds Celine's Series 6 2.3-liter twin-screw supercharger with a dual-stage water-to-air intercooler for significantly more power. Finally, the S281 Extremes engine is designed and built in-house, which takes supercharging and adds race-bred design and components such as a forged steel crankshaft, forged steel connecting rods, forged aluminum pistons, ported heads, and an upgraded 6-speed manual and more yielding around 500 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque. The signature Celine bodywork creates one of the best-looking Mustangs of its time, taking design cues from the S7 supercar. Designed for enhanced downforce, cooling, and aerodynamics, the fit and finish of the bodywork is pristine and really represents OEM quality. Up front, an injected molded valence with wide intakes below is complemented by an all-black grille with Celine grille badging and vehicle production number located on the bumper. The black headlamps are even fitted with the optional xenon lights. The hood is a custom Celine Superflow lightweight design that blends low clearance and functional heat extractors for each bank of cylinders. The side features signature rocker panels, window louvers, black mirrors, and fender badging. Out back, a large spoiler and rear valence surrounds the tail lamps that have been almost completely blacked out for a more stealthy look. The twin center oval polished exhaust down below and you'll notice that the lower rear clip and front windshield are also branded with the Celine logo. The Mustang suspension has also been completely reworked for increased handling precision and grip, everything from special springs, shocks, upgraded anti-roll bars, and more. With the enhancements for 2005, they were actually able to improve the ratio of movement between the wheel and the spring from 0.5 to 1 to an even 1 to 1 at each wheel. Up front, the standard Mustang carries an independent McPherson strut setup with lower control arms. But, factor in the Celine Racecraft system and you receive N2 struts with linear rate coilover springs and larger 1.38 inch tubular stabilizer bar with high durometer urethane pivot bushings for a more direct steering feel. In the rear, the Mustang's three link live axle adds a pan hard rod. The rod adds four times the rear lateral stiffness of the previous design and allows for flatter cornering. Like the front, the rear also features the Celine Racecraft system including direct acting linear rate coil over springs, N2 shocks, and .79 inch stabilizer bar with specially calibrated suspension settings. Standard wheels fitted to the S281 included bespoke 20 by 9 inch polished aluminum alloy wheels at each corner wrapped in 275-35 high-performance Dunlop tires, able to pull up to 0.9 g in lateral cornering forces. 
Also available were race compound tires with wider 10-inch wheels in the rear and larger 275-40 rear tires. That optional setup was standard on the extreme. Brakes consist of four-wheel ventilated discs measuring 12.4 inches in front with two piston calipers and 11.8 inches in the rear with single piston calipers. For even more bite, optional 14-inch front groove disc with four piston yellow monogram calipers could also be added. With this setup, the Celine stops from 60 miles an hour in about 115 feet, which is about 10 feet shorter than a standard GT. An optional max speed speed sensitive limited slip differential was also available with standard traction control. Overall length is 189.1 inches with a width of 74 inches and a height of 56 inches and rides on a 107.1 inch wheelbase. Total curb weight as you see here is around 3,574 pounds. The S281 SC features a supercharged variant of Ford's new all-aluminum 3-valve 4.6-liter single-overhead cam V8. It carries a compression ratio of 9.8 to 1, a boring stroke of 3.55 by 3.54 inches respectively, and a red line of 6,250 RPM. Celine fitted it with its latest generation Series 6 2.3-liter twin-screw supercharger with dual-stage water-to-air intercooler. The new compact unit is more efficient than the previous mill and integrates the blower assembly, intercooler, and induction plenum in all sits between the heads, a design that allows for a wider intake manifold. With boost pressure set at just 4 PSI, the S281SC originally produced an impressive 400 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque, but after 2007 was upgraded to 465 horsepower at 5800 RPM and 425 pound-feet of torque at 4000 RPM. This car here has the higher output upgrade. Original performance numbers included 0 to 60 times of 4.6 seconds and quarter mile times of 13.2 seconds at 110 miles an hour. Top speed is governed to 150 miles an hour. The upgraded variant is likely to be a bit quicker. As far as fuel economy, with a 15.7 gallon tank and required premium gas, EPA estimates range between 15 miles to a gallon in the city and 22 on the highway. Inside the S281, you'll find a custom appointed interior that emulates the aggressive exterior, while providing a comfortable, more engaging layout that enhances the Mustang's new style. Compared to the dated previous generation, fit and finish of the new Mustang was quite good and featured modest padding across various touch points. It represented an all new, retro futuristic style that's further enhanced by chrome bright work around the air vents and instrument cluster in addition to an aluminum dash treatment which ties in fond memories of the mid-1960s with modern build techniques. The seats were actually custom designed by Celine and feature greater side bolstering than the standard chairs, overall feeling more comfortable and definitely more supportive. Sliding and height adjustment is powered while recline is manual. You do receive power lumbar as standard. The seats even look the aggressive part, with color accent dual stitching, Alcantara ribbed pattern, embroidered company logo on the backrest, and even open louvered headrest, which is a pretty cool styling cue. Side airbags were also included. Celine's specific goodies found throughout include a dual gauge pod that sits on top of the dash and displays both the supercharger boost pressure and intercooler temperature. The speedometer cluster is monogrammed and reads up to 200 miles an hour. In addition, you also receive aluminum pedals, a tilting steering wheel, steering wheel badge, embroidered floor mats, aluminum entry guard, and the aluminum short throw shifter. Celine even went as far as to replace the factory air vents with their own custom design. Each car also features a number plaque on the right hand side of the dash. So let's go ahead and see if she sounds.
Now this Mustang features the premium Shaker 500 audio system with an in-dash AM FM radio and six disc CD changer. Not to mention MP3 compatibility as well as auxiliary capabilities. A nice sound audio system overall. Padded A-pillars blend into the nice soft headliner, as well as padded visors with vanity mirrors. Your rear view mirror is manually dimming, where it has the sunroof designer located up top. Continuing down the center console, of course you have your circular retro-inspired air vents, a 12-volt power outlet, to the right traction control and hazards, and to the left all of your driver information, customizable options, and trip computer fuel data, all showing up in the speedometer cluster to the right. Like I said, the radio itself really is quite simple. Presets down below, go between your different folders, text, show in some song information, shuffle, rewind, fast forward, seek, change in the track, change in the discs up here, eject, and load. Your different radio modes are located there. Mute in case you get a telephone call, auxiliary if you have an extra device connected, as well as menu, as your clock set, other radio functions, as well as your equalizer settings. Simple to use, climate control down below in the rotary knobs, fan speed, temperature, different zones, front and rear defrost. Continuing across the center console, you have two cup holders, the control for the sunroof, and a padded center console with a modest amount of storage, including a 12 volt power outlet and a little bit of change storage. As far as the steering wheel, like I said, your cruise control on either side, intermittent wipers, as well as your high beams and turn signals. Very simple, and definitely sporty. So we're we'll going to shut her down. And we'll check out the back seat real quick. In order to gain access to the back seat, you're going to want to first grab the little lever located on the back of the seats. There's also one for the passenger side. Then, just go ahead and slide it forward. Back seat room is a little tighter, just due to the slope of the roof line. But, just like the front seats, the Celine also features custom tailored rear seats with the Alcantara leather, color accent stitching, and Celine logos across the headrests. There's also coat hooks up top. And if you need a bit more cargo space, you can always fold both of the sides of the seats down for a flat loading space all the way to the front. Like I said, back seat room is pretty much just typical Mustang. It's a little tighter for taller individuals. Now, as far as overall rear seat comfort, for people short enough that they can sit back here on a longer journey, it is quite comfortable. The seats have a nice amount of padding, and overall, it's a good amount of support. I would wish for a little bit more lumbar in the back, but it does dip down in the middle and kind of feels like a little bucket seat with a good amount of lateral grip across the lower cushion. But there isn't much of amenities back here. There's no extra air vents or anything like that. There are armrests across the sides, but it is a pretty intimate cabin overall, so ventilation really shouldn't be an issue. Especially with the Skyview roof, it's a very unique addition that's pretty much close to a convertible as a hardtop vehicle is ever going to get. Legroom is significantly decreased when you put back the seat, so I wouldn't recommend taller people sitting back here. I mean, I can wiggle my head around a little bit right here, but as soon as I bring it up, it starts to hit the headliner. So, let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle. The relatively lightweight trunk lid is a little heavier with the extra bodywork as you would expect, but it's still manageable with one hand. With the rear seats in place, the Mustang has a respectable 12.3 cubic feet of cargo space. Its biggest hindrance is the opening as it limits the overall object size you're able to fit towards the edges.
The passenger seat is fully manual. and a modest glove box down below. The Ford Mustang has always been an icon since its 1964 debut, an all-around good car with great performance at a low price. With so many well-known Mustang builders out there like Celine, Shelby, and Roush, it just goes to show you how much potential the Mustang has in the right hands. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at this wickedly cool 2005 Celine Mustang S281. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.